Uh, you know, there is another storm out there. It's Jose, but uh, most experts are pretty confused just trying to get a sense of where it is going to the weather company senior meteorologist Dan Leonard. Um, Dan, are you worried about this thing? How's it looking to you? Uh, to be honest, Neil, it doesn't look too bad. Right now it's milling around underneath a big ridge of high pressure, which is keeping it at bay. So right now for the next three, four, five days, it stays well offshore. There are some models that try to bring it in close to the Carolinas next weekend or maybe into early next week. But right now, I think probably the, the, the chance of an impact to the east coast of the U.S. is roughly around 10 percent. So I think we're going to dodge a bullet with Jose. Not out of the woods quite yet. A couple of more days worth of model runs and we can be sure that it's a fish storm. But right now, I'd, I'd say it's a pretty fair bet that most east coast cities are safe from Jose. You know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm uh, showing my ignorance here, but it comes in handy because I am when it comes to this stuff. But then how do you know, I mean, how closer to you know, uh, a, a potential hit or, or potential turn, do you look at a storm like Jose? Because I've seen all the tracking models and it really looks like a bad etch-a-sketch here where it could go any one of, you know, two dozen different directions. What decides it for you? What do you look for in the next few days? Yeah, those uh, spaghetti model models are the uh, bane of meteorologists' yeah. existence because so the it amateur you viewer, very you look smart, at that and you very say, very smart. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, oh, we could be, it could go anywhere, basically. But let me put it this way: there are certain models that we look at, and then there are the ones that we ignore. The spaghetti models don't take into account which ones are the good ones and which ones aren't so good. So I will say this: there's a couple of models that did really well with Irma tracking Irma and. Those are the ones that you sort of look at down the road and say, OK, how, it did really well with Irma. Let's see what it's doing for Jose. Keeps it offshore, so I think we're good. But having said that, remember with Irma, even up at the, la uh, the last couple of days before landfall, we weren't exactly sure where it was going to go. So you can get some pretty significant changes. Obviously, in the days leading up to Irma, those changes were in the good direction because you had landfall probably best case scenario, right? I mean, if it's going right. to hit Florida, might as well hit down in the Everglades and force all the storm surge up through there. Spare Miami, spare the big West Coast cities, and it's the best case scenario. But you can get fairly significant changes, especially four, five, six days out. So it's not something that we can take our our eyes off obviously yet but right now we're looking pretty good as far as jose goes good news all right uh, fingers crossed dan dan leonard the weather company senior meteorologist very good seeing you thank you